Vincent Price's career spanned over six decades, with his first film role in the 1938 comedy Service Deluxe. But on October 15, 1993, Price passed away at age 82. Join us as we discuss his tragic death and celebrate the legacy he left behind. Early Life and Career Vincent Price was born into a family of inventors and entrepreneurs. His grandfather invented the first cream of tartar-based baking powder, which he sold under the name Dr. Price's Baking Powder. His father owned the National Candy Company. Despite his family's business background, Price was drawn to the arts and academia. He attended Yale, where he later taught for a year, before realizing he knew very little about the world. This realization led him to pursue his passion for acting. His first foray into the world of theater was in a stage production in Chicago. This experience solidified his love for acting and set him on the path to becoming a world-renowned actor. His first steps into the horror genre were in the film Tower of London with fellow horror actor Boris Karloff, where he played the Duke of Clarence. This role marked the beginning of his illustrious career in horror cinema. Price's most well-known film during the early years of his career was House of Wax, which was the second 3D film released by a major Hollywood studio. He was also known for his versatility as an actor. He didn't limit himself to horror movies. He also appeared in commercials, radio shows, and even had a stint in the 1960s Batman series where he played a character named Egghead. His unique voice and distinctive acting style made him a sought-after talent in the industry. He was a major art collector, too, and parts of his collection can be found in the Vincent Price Art Museum in East Los Angeles. Price's versatility Price's love for art was matched by his passion for food. Born into a family of food businessmen, Price became a gourmet cook. He authored several cookbooks and even hosted his own cooking TV show, Cooking Pricewise. The variety of skills and passions he possessed are reflected in his impressive cooking repertoire. His versatility also extended to his personal life. His daughter, Victoria Price, revealed in an interview that her father had deep, loving relationships with men and was supportive when she came out to him. Even in his later years, he continued to showcase his versatility. He was a close friend and frequent collaborator of filmmaker Tim Burton, who idolized Price. During the filming of Edward Scissorhands, Burton and Price began working on a documentary about Price's life, tentatively titled Conversations with Vincent. The project, however, was never finished. Personal Life Price was not only a renowned actor, but also a man of diverse interests and a strong advocate for various social issues. His love for art wasn't just limited to collecting. He teamed up with Sears in the 1960s to find and sell great works of art by renowned artists. This venture turned out to be very profitable for the company, selling more than 50,000 original artworks over nearly a decade. Price was married three times. His third and final wife was actress Coral Brown, whom he met during the filming of his film Theater of Blood. Brown wasn't a fan of horror movies, but took the role because of its strong cast. Price was an outspoken Democrat and liberal. He was an outspoken supporter of the LGBTQ movement as well. He spoke out against an anti-gay campaign run by Anita Bryant and became an honorary member of PFLAG. Price also publicly discussed the AIDS crisis. Health Decline Vincent began experiencing health issues later in life. He was diagnosed with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, and Parkinson's disease two conditions that significantly impacted his life and career. COPD is an obstructive lung disease that results in long-term difficulty breathing and decreased airflow. Price's diagnosis meant that his ability to perform, particularly in physically demanding roles, was increasingly compromised. The symptoms of Parkinson's, which develop gradually over several years and include tremors, rigidity, and slow movement, further complicated Price's health status and his ability to continue working in the film industry. But despite these health challenges, Price continued to work in film, albeit in less physically demanding roles. His symptoms were particularly severe during the filming of Tim Burton's Edward Scissorhands in 1990, where he played the role of the inventor. This required adjustments to his filming schedule and ultimately contributed to his decision to retire from the PBS television series Mystery in 1989. His health continued to decline, 
and he eventually succumbed to lung cancer at age 82 on October 25, 1993, at his home in L.A. His remains were cremated and his ashes were scattered off Point Doom in Malibu. His health decline was tragic, particularly considering his vibrant career and significant contributions to the film industry. Legacy Vincent Price's legacy in the horror genre is nothing short of legendary. His career, which spanned from 1938 to 1995, saw him captivate audiences with his debonair manner and smooth sophistication, even while portraying the most evil of characters. Price's unique style and approach to his roles set a new standard for horror movie villains and left an indelible mark on the genre. His performances in films like House of Wax, House on Haunted Hill, The Pit and the Pendulum, The Mask of the Red Death, Witchfinder General, and The Abominable Dr. Phoebes are considered some of his best. In these films, Price's characters were often complex, multifaceted villains, each with their own unique motivations and methods. His portrayals were often marked by a potent mix of melodrama and spectacular violence, giving him a grand stage on which to enact his fiendish plans. Price's influence on the horror genre can still be seen today. His performances have inspired countless actors and filmmakers, including Tim Burton, who was of course his close friend and frequent collaborator. Burton's film Edward Scissorhands, where Price played the role of the inventor, is considered a classic of the genre. Price's posthumous recognition includes a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and induction into the St. Louis Walk of Fame. His contributions to horror have also been recognized by various awards and honors, including the Bram Stoker Award for Lifetime Achievement from the Horror Writers Association. Vincent Price's life showcased his exceptional abilities, adaptability, and perseverance. From his early days in St. Louis, Missouri, to his rise to fame in Hollywood, Price left an indelible mark on the film industry, particularly within the horror genre. His distinctive voice and serial comic attitude brought a unique flavor to his roles, making him a beloved figure among audiences and peers alike. Price's death due to lung cancer was indeed tragic, marking the end of an era in the world of horror films. But his legacy lives on through his extensive body of work, his contributions to the art world, and his advocacy for social issues. Vincent Price was more than just a horror film icon. He was a man of many talents and passions, a versatile actor, and a dedicated advocate for the causes he believed in. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite role of Vincent Price's? What's your favorite movie he was in? Let us know in the comments section below.